Hello chaps, bit of an update here, or well, basically an overview of the aero, underfloor aero panels I've built for the Elan. The front clam has a splitter, obviously, but the splitter's got a, a slight upstand or downstand that's on the car, which under here is where the first section slips, so the air flows seamlessly over or under the splitter onto this panel here which is shaped around the wheels as close as possible that centre box is to catch any leaking fluids so don't make a mess of the strip a centre pod that hooks onto the cross member and this panel slips above it so again the air flows over rather than between them this section Again, round the wheel there, there's one to go on this side yet. I've made it, haven't glued it on. This panel basically covers the gearbox, as you can see by the shape there to avoid the bottom of the box that sits down slightly. Either side, the floor is flat, so I don't need any panels there. Although there are a couple of drop down boxes where the seats go, so I can actually wear a crash helmet. Those I'll, I will trim the edges of those and smooth them so that they, the air flows over them. Then we've got the two panels that cover the rear suspension. The centre of the car is a, like an 8 inch wide straight piece of metal part of the box section of the chassis so that doesn't need anything. But then that hooks onto the diffuser. Which He's more or less done again, just need a little bit of tidying up. So all in all, that should work. What I haven't done yet, is underneath each of these panels, there will be vertical strakes put in to help guide the air around the tyres and around the recessed boxes, etc. Aim it down the car. And also, there will be, you can't see on here, there is a side skirt that runs all the way along here. The exhaust is actually covered by a panel so you can't see it. And, un and under the, that skirt there will be a rubber skirt as well, which is adjustable. So I'm going to get as close to the ground as possible. So I'll make the best possible use of the air. A, it helps the car be more stable on the track. And it should improve aerodynamics, so top end speed should be slightly better. Which is all to the good. So it's coming along. Updates later. Bye for now.